हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अलंकार फार्मेसी क्लासेस अगेन इन दी टूडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी ब्लैक बॉडी बी विथ मी टिल दी एंड ऑफ दी वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड दी कंसेप्ट ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी सो लेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग अवर टाइम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ब्लैक बॉडी अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स डेफिनेशन इज ए हाइपोथेटिकल बॉडी और ऑब्जेक्ट विथ नो रिफ्लेक्टिंग पावर बट ए परफेक्ट एब्जॉर्बर एंड रेडिएटर ऑफ एनर्जी सो दिस इज इट्स सिंपल डेफिनेशन you can better understand this definition by assuming an example that i am representing here in the form of a picture so assume that there is any surface and here there is a incident ray let's suppose this is a so there is an incident ray or it may be a kind of a thermal energy so incident ray is coming and it strikes over the surface of a uh, any hypothetical object when it strikes over the surface what will happen some sort of this energy will absorb here represented as point c some sort of this energy is absorbed and there is a reflection of some energy that it that the surface is getting through incident rays so according to the definition of uh, these black bodies first thing that the black body is a perfect emitter so it emits all sort of electromagnetic radiation this is the first thing about the black body and another thing that it absorbs all kind of incident radiation but it does not reflects anything so this is the actually the definition of a black body earth is getting light from the sun it is absorbing some sort of the energy that is coming from the sun and it reflects also energy in its atmosphere and also into the outer space so in this case earth is not a black body but the sun may be called as a black body because it emits all sort of radiation there are different types of electromagnetic radiation actually the sun is emitting all kinds of electromagnetic radiation and in this way as a emitter sun can be termed as a black body but uh, the black body is a good emitter as well as good absorber also so uh, when any ray or any electromagnetic ray or it may be any light that is strikes over the uh, surface of the sun since sun is uh, not uh, having any solid surface it is basically a plasma and since it is a plasma what will happen if any kind of a ray which is here represented in a, as a blue line it, it strikes over the surface of a sun what will happen it is scatters and until that it lost inside the sun so in this way it absorbs the radiation that is coming from the outside so in this way it is a also a perfect absorber and in this way this may be called as a a perfect black body actually the sun is not a perfect black body because it is not a perfect emitter although it emits all kind of uh, radiation but the truth is this some sort of radiation is restricted because of fast movement of the ions that takes place in uh, over the surface of the sun so this is the reason there is a uh, loss of some sort of radiation that that is coming outside into the space through its surface and this is the reason sun is not a perfect emitter and that's why it cannot be termed as a perfect black body uh, we can say that it is very close to the definition of a black body so this is the first example another example is the carbon black since uh, the black color absorbs all kind of energy that is strikes over its surface and it is not reflecting any color that's why it looks black so we have a substance that is a carbon black which is having a perfect black color and why it is perfect black color because it absorbs all kind of radiation and it is not reflecting anything and that's why it looks perfectly black by using carbon black we can make a perfect black body in the laboratory also we can make a, a sphere the inside surface of this sphere is coated with this carbon black and here is the source of electromagnetic radiation the, this source will transmit energy through this a small hole into this sphere 
and the inside surface of this uh, sphere is not perfectly reflecting surface. So what will happen? Carbon black is a good absorber of the radiation. The energy which is transmitted through this source will be absorbed here. If it is not absorbed here and let it it may be reflected also because its surface shows some sort of reflection and that's why it may be transmitted towards this surface and here it will be absorbed or here it may be absorbed or it may be absorbed here. Chance of exit of this radiation through this pinhole is almost negligible because of the multiple reflections and that's why the, it absorbs all kind of energy which is coming through this source. So that's why in terms of absorption, it can be terms as a black body. Now, if we increase the temperature of this body in the furnace, provided that the object and furnace have the same temperature in, uh, that is in thermal equilibrium position. Second condition is this that everything in furnace are in same temperature. That means there is no sort of flames and there is no sort of bubbles in the uh, such kind of furnace. Uh, and if we, if we produce such kind of condition and we increase the temperature in any such kind of furnace, this, where this uh, whole body uh, will start acting as a very good emitter and in this case what will happen whatever be the energy in, uh, inside it is having is start reflecting through this hole. So this hole will start acting as a black body then it is a perfect emitter and in this way it, this kind of a object will start behaves like a a perfect black body. So this is the uh, two examples that we have discussed. The first example is of Sen. Another example is of uh, this object. Now you can easily understand the properties of the black body. So there are uh, actually the three different uh, properties of the black body. The first thing is the it absorbs all incident radiation independent of the wavelength and direction. So if whatever be the wavelength and whatever be, whatever be the direction of the uh, light it may be, it absorbs all the incident radiation radiation. So this is the first property of a black body. Another thing it emits more energy than any other surface for a given wavelength and temperature. Since it is a black body and it is a very good emitter also that's why it emits more energy than any other surface for a given wavelength as well as temperature. And lastly the emissivity that is epsilon value of a black body equals to the 1. And what is this emissivity? Emissivity is simply a measure of a efficiency of a object radiating any uh, radiating thermal energy. This simply means the whatever be the energy that is emitted by any object per unit area per second and that is the actually the emissivity and that's why the emissivity of a black body should be equals to 1. Now what is this uh, epsilon value that is emissivity? Emissivity value is equals to the energy emitted by object surface divided by the energy emitted by the black body. So if any object which is uh, uh, which is very close to the uh, definition of a black body will have a this emissivity, emissivity value equals to 1 and it, it, it can be termed as the black body then. And this is all with the concept of the black body. Hope you all have liked this video. So please do share with your colleagues who are in the search of this topic. And thank you friends. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest video and updates.